<laughs> sure, sure. We were a great one inside. The Gillette Cup was ours to keep, literally, you know. Won so many times in a row. And uh, we had a great side. When I joined Lancashire, there were two test cricketers, Jeff Puller and Brian Statham, and Ken Hicks, sorry, three. They were. But by the time I finished with Lancashire, we had eight test cricketers, eight England players, David Lloyd, Barry Wood, Peter Lieber, Ken Shuttleworth, and so on, Frank Hayes. And we had a great setup. We had a great combination. Peter Lieber and Ken Shuttleworth were as good as anyone in the world. You know, great bowlers, quick, and uh, a delight to keep wickets too. You know, David Hughes, Jack Simmons, not the greatest of spin bowlers, but very, very good cricketers and um, excellent fielders, excellent all-rounders. Little Harry Pilling was a top-class batsman, you know, number three. Uh, he should have played for England, but unfortunately he didn't. Then there was myself and Clive Lloyd. And um, we had Frank Hayes, there was Johnny, Johnny Sullivan. Peter Lee came on and bowled some excellent cutters. He should have played for England too. So I think we had a very, very, with the perfect, you know, fielding side, with the perfect batting side, perfect bowling side, anything to win cricket. Unfortunately, the championship sort of, you know, deprived us because time and again we were in the dressing room in a winning situation and we could hear scores on the radio of Middlesex, of Surrey, scoring points because there, were no, there was no rain there. We're in, we had a little more rain here in Manchester. That is no excuse, but I think we were deprived by the weather on quite a few occasions. We should have won the county championship. And what was Jack Bond like as Oh, as tremendous. Captain? Tremendous. Jack Bond's contribution to the actual cricketing thing was almost zilch. I, none of us remember Bondy doing anything except marshalling the team. The way he captained he was certainly the best captain I've ever played under. Tremendous. I had him a lot because a good captain always consults his wicket keeper. And same for India, where I was not the official captain. I was doing the captaincy all the time because the wicket keeper knows from behind the stumps what exactly is happening, what the bowler is doing, what the pitch is doing. So, I mean, you are, you are in the new all the time. And Bondi realized that. He didn't make one move without a little wink and a nod here and there, without making it obvious. But certainly a very good captain and a great man. Absolutely fabulous man. He's not keeping good health, I understand. And from on behalf of all our team, I'd like to wish Bondi, you know, a speedy recovery because he's a great man. He and Florence were a great couple and he was a tremendous inspiration to the youngsters. He did one thing at Lord's, he held that catch to dismiss Asif Iqbal and my word he flew like a rocket and held that catch and that catch actually won us the Gillette Cup that year because Kent were cruising it so that was Bondi's contribution biggest contribution to Lancashire apart from his great captaincy <clears throat> Just talking about kind of some of those Lords finals they were really special days for Lancashire weren't they? Yeah I mean from our dressing room we could see on a Sunday or a Gillette Cup match you know crowds boring station, you know, the local station here, Lancashire, la la la, Lancashire, la la. And we were the Manchester United of, of, of cricket. I'm a great Manchester City supporter as well, but um, United just being down the road, 100 yards down the road. You know, we had a lot of association with United. You know, George Best, when he came to England, was one of my best friends because we were neighbours. You know, Lancashire had a house and Man United had a house and Bestie and I, had, he had just come from Ireland, I had just come from India. So we, we made a very, very close friendship.